Welcome to another whitetail season with Huntographer. It is September 10th and it is officially deer season here in Georgia. Uh, super excited about it this year. This year is an extremely special year for me um, and especially a special one for my dad. We're super excited to uh, be out here today. We've got some decent bucks showing up. Um, here I'm actually sitting in our box blind filming dad. He's hunting in a lock-on on a pine tree that's overlooking our food plot that we've got planted um, and a feeder that we've had some really nice Georgia bucks showing up on so fingers crossed we have some good luck and we'll see what the afternoon brings. Alright guys, it is October 7th. This is my first deer hunt this season. I hunted open an afternoon uh, with Dad but just filmed and this is my first time carrying the bow out. Um, went and scouted, found some acorn trees and while I was scouting I jumped two nice bucks and I decided to, I was going to hang a stand there and in hopes that uh, the bucks would come back this afternoon to feed underneath the acorn trees. Um, uh, the neighbors uh, started riding four-wheelers and I looked up right as I was about to be done hanging the stand. And, um, he's headed towards me and he came in about 100 yards. Um, I watched him for probably about 10-15 minutes and I think he bedded down right there so I'm going to try to sneak back in there real quick undetected and uh, see if we can't get a shot at him this afternoon. But he looks to be a pretty good buck and um, I'm hopeful to see if uh, we're able to pull off. Um, something special this afternoon so hang tight uh probably have to be pretty quiet when i'm getting in there so i might not do uh interview but we'll get the thing going and uh we'll see you in the stand all right guys just got up in the tree stand this is my first ever saddle hunt and that buck is bedded i think just right back in here about 100 yards over this little hill i hope that i was able to sneak back in here without spooking Fingers crossed, and uh, maybe we'll get at least not a shot, maybe some footage of him, so we'll see. Alright guys, it is October 8th and George is playing Auburn right now, so go dogs. I'm headed back to the stand I hunted last night. Hopeful that that buck that I saw yesterday while I was putting up the stand will be back in there this afternoon eating acorns. I did go out there and throw out some tracks last night after it got dark. So I'm going to try to sneak in there real quick and see if we can't have some action this afternoon so I'll see you in the tree all right I'm back up in the stand same stand as yesterday we got a perfect wind I'm hoping these bucks come I'm down this little ridge up into the 
these acorn trees. There was a lot of acorns dropping in here. Yesterday, laying tight, George is up 14 nothing on Auburn, so it's already a good afternoon. And we will see if we can't capitalize on a deer this afternoon. As you saw, we were in the bucks this afternoon, had several bucks come in. One of them was one of our shooters. Um, he's a nice eight-pointer. Um, unfortunately, they did come in uh, the opposite direction that I was expecting them to. Um, they were downwind and they did get a whiff of my scent and they got a little skittish. So, wasn't able to get a shot off, but it was uh, fun to be out there and, and be in the bucks. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, put a plan together to get back on them. Uh, and now that we know kind of the direction the deer are coming from, we can play the wind a little better. So thanks for watching the first episode of the 2022 whitetail season by Huntographer.